Again, tonight with an NBC 15 News reality check. Right now, according to the Mobile County Sheriff's Office, there are more than 100 suspected murderers roaming the streets of Mobile. Sheriff Sam Cochran says they have bonded out of jail and are awaiting trial, which could take months and in some cases years. NBC 15's Justin Moore joins us now. Justin Cochran is worried they could repeat the same crime. Yeah, and he's blaming a crack in the criminal justice system. But we have had some people on bond for murder that have shot other people. Uh, we've had a number of those instances. So, yes, yeah, very concerning. Sheriff Sam Cochran says about 130 suspected killers have bonded out of Mobile Metro and are awaiting trial. It's certainly frustrating on the law enforcement side if someone blames us for someone being on bond and committing another crime because we've done our job. We've We've uh, arrested him. A prime example is 22-year-old Kristen Edwards. A couple of weeks ago, she was arrested and charged with shooting four people at a mobile bowling alley. She was already out of jail on a $150,000 bond for the killing of 17-year-old Ty Darius Jones. There have been some other similar cases where someone has been out on bond and involved in additional crimes. Some murder suspects have been out on bond as long as three years awaiting trial. Jury trials recently resumed in Mobile County after COVID suspended them for nearly two years. Back in October, Mobile County District Attorney's Office told us there is a backlog of about 300 murder cases. Sheriff Cochran says some prosecutors and defense attorneys are reluctant to hear cases when jurors wear masks. That would be, in the purview of lawyers, feel like part of their ability to try or defend the case, they like the opportunity to see facial expressions on people, and so that is still a problem for us. Sheriff Cochran says the bond amount could be an issue also. However, in Alabama, murder suspects have the constitutional right to a fair and reasonable bond if it's not capital murder. Now, what's fair and reasonable is in the eyes of the uh, judge, I guess. Sheriff Cochran says the only solution is for the court system to expedite the cases. Now, I reached out to the DA's office for comment on this story. No one was available. Also, put a call in to the court to see if anyone would talk about this, and I did not get a call back. Live at the Sheriff's Office, Justin Moore, NBC 15 News.